So, you want to know my brilliantly diabolical plan for sticking to your New Year's resolutions? Well, you've come to the right place. You've tried all the goody two-shoes plans in the past and nothing has worked for you. Let me introduce you to the method Hades himself would use. Ah, what the hell, man? That was good enough. Don't gotta do any more. I'm just gonna turn these lights on now, and we will get started, okay? Yeah, but I was enjoying myself, man. I wanted to do it a little longer. We don't have time for that, okay? Let's begin. So recently, I've been playing this game called Hades. In Greek mythology, Hades is the god of the underworld, and he's often characterized as this brilliant, persevering god. And at least in the Disney adaptation of Hercules, he's always coming up with these diabolical plans. Hence the title of this video. Because I think to stick to our New Year's resolutions, there is a lot that we can learn from this game. So in this game, you start off controlling Zagreus, who's the son of Hades. As you attempt to escape the underworld, you've been more or less imprisoned to your entire life. As you attempt your escape, you gain various temporary power-ups to defeat the increasingly powerful enemies in each successive room as you advance closer to the exit of the underworld. And when you die, you have to begin again at the first room, but not before you make permanent upgrades to Zagreus. And eventually, after many playthroughs and many upgrades, you're able to advance to the final room and take down your father Hades to finally exit the underworld. Now I enjoyed the heck out of this game. If you're looking for a game to get into, I highly recommend it. But for now, let's jump into some of the ideas that I think we can take from Hades and apply to our own lives for our New Year's resolutions. So the first one is starting off easy. Hades is really easy when you first get started, like most video games are. Even if you haven't played the game before, you can easily slash your way through, I don't know, 20% of the rooms on your very first try. In my first playthrough, I got to about that 20% mark and it really helped me feel great about the game and great about myself too. If I had died within minutes, multiple times every time I started a new run in the game, I'm not sure I would have liked it as much. And it certainly wouldn't have hooked me to keep going. Just imagine fighting the final boss right as you enter the first room. Getting destroyed, starting over again, getting destroyed again, starting all over again. Nobody would enjoy that. In fact, most games are designed this way, where they're easy at the beginning to get you going so you can make some progress, get some accomplishments, get into the game so that you'll be hooked and keep coming back for more. And in my opinion, we should do the same thing with our habits and our New Year's resolutions. We shouldn't go from from eating whatever we want on December 31st to having an incredibly strict diet on January 1st. It doesn't make any sense to do that and you're only setting yourself up for failure. And with that failure comes guilt and a lot of other negative emotions that we really want to avoid if we want to stick to our New Year's resolutions. So whatever your New Year's resolution is, think about lessening the difficulty for January 1st. So the second idea is to have short-term goals and short-term rewards. In Hades, each time you're about to enter a new room, you're given a choice of what power-up you'd like to attain upon defeating the enemies in that room. And because of this pretty immediate and short-term goal, you're hyper-focused on defeating the enemies in front of you. You're not focused on the long-term goal of defeating Hades and beating the game. I almost never thought about this while I was playing the game. And I know I personally have not spent enough time thinking about the short-term rewards and maybe creating short-term goals for myself with the own habits that I'm trying to build. But I know that immediacy is such a strong factor in our motivation. That's generally why we give into bad habits in the first place. They offer us a reward so immediate that it's hard to think about the long-term consequences. I think having a long-term goal is great and it's important, but shifting your mindset and your focus to think about those short-term rewards can help a lot. So recently I've started doing yoga and it's not the long-term benefit of being incredibly flexible that motivates me. It's thinking about how great my body is going to feel after doing just one yoga session or just stretching for five minutes in the morning. You know, when you wake up, you feel tight, but you can get rid of that tightness very, very quickly. So when you're thinking about following through on your New Year's resolutions in the new year, think about those immediate rewards or those immediate upgrades, and I'm sure it'll help you take action. So the third tip I want to talk about is focusing on the process. Uh, while I was playing Hades and hacking and slashing through all the enemies, I was always thinking about how I can avoid a particular enemy's attacks, take less damage, be more efficient, and get through an entire room with as much life left as possible. Sure, I could run in Leroy Jenkins style. Oh, that's a lot better than we usually do. Uh, All right, comes up. Ready, guys? Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. But that would probably get old pretty quick as I take tons of damage and die over and over again. In order to become a better player in Hades, you've got to play smart. And you play smart by focusing on the process, analyzing what's going on, and try to come up with effective strategies to help you advance farther. Not only does that help you, but it also makes the game a lot more fun. It doesn't feel as linear anymore, because there are lots of different ways that you can get better. And I think the same can be said for building habits and sticking to your New Year's resolutions. Just kind of staying in the 
present moment and analyzing what's going on, trying out new strategies, experimenting is a great way to go about building habits. So if you're trying to lose weight, you can experiment with making different recipes. You can try intermittent fasting. You could try just avoiding nighttime snacks. You could call up friends when you have a craving or when you feel a craving, you could just try sitting with it for five minutes and doing nothing, not acting on anything. There are lots of different strategies out there that are helpful. You can just try them out and experiment with them and see how they work. And lastly is one that I struggle with a lot and that's accepting your failures and accepting the negative emotions that come with those failures. So let's first talk about failing in Hades. When you die in Hades, it kind of sucks a little bit at first, but you know that you're now able to permanently upgrade your character, so it's not really that bad. And even if I wasn't able to upgrade my character, I know that I would just restart the game, get back into it without any real negative emotions or guilt or anything weirdly counterproductive like that. I'm just excited to get back into the game and keep playing. But for some reason, when we screw up in life, we feel bad about ourselves. And then to make it worse, you start feeling bad about feeling bad. And then you try to force yourself to be happy because you know you should be happy, but you feel bad. And that makes you feel worse because you're supposed to be happy, but you're not happy. And I noticed this cycle started to happen to me when I tried to feel happy all the time. So forcing positive thinking is not so great, is it? Are you, have you opened your eyes yet? And there's actually a study from Berkeley that I saw where the senior author commented this. We found that people who habitually accept their negative emotions experience fewer negative emotions, which adds up to better psychological health. That's it, end of story. If you accept your negative emotions, like I do when I'm playing Hades, cause it's not that big of a deal, then you'll have better psychological health and you can keep on moving forward about your life. So if you do screw up, on your new year's resolutions or you don't want to follow through on your new year's resolution don't try to make yourself feel happy or try to make yourself motivated before starting just let your feelings be and try to take action that's what i've been doing lately and it's been very very helpful accept the screw-ups accept the crappy emotions and move on so looking back on these four ideas i guess there's not a lot of brilliance in them or a lot of uh, diabolicalness but they are definitely effective. A lot of them are very tried and true and they're worth giving a shot heading into the new decade. So once again, start off easy, have short-term goals and rewards, focus on the process and accept your negative feelings and play Hades because it's a great game. Good luck with your new year's resolutions in 2020 and have a very happy new year. See you next decade.